how to set up Ticket Toolbot in the Discord server. Hello everyone, in this video I'll show you guys how to set up your Ticket Toolbot on Discord. So you will see if you search for Ticket Toolbot on Google, this will be your first search result and it is first for a reason. It has amazing features such as full customization, support, uptime, transcripts, and easy ways to customize. So let's get started. Now to get started, all we have to do is click on invite ticket tool. Now I have already logged into Discord using the same browser. So it's going to be a direct link and it will just open up this application and I will choose the server I want to connect this toolbot to. So I want to connect this to Lily's server and then I'll click on continue, click on authorize. Once we click on authorize, we can click on I am a human and then click on go to Lily's server. Once done, we can proceed with our setup. Now, it will show you that ticket tool has now appeared. You will see you have a few different sections to easily customize the ticket toolbot. So you can do slash help slash setup and slash debug to set this up. You can also click on add application and add this to other channels as well. So firstly, we are going to click on slash and then it will automatically show you the ticket tool. Now over here, you have different functions. These functions include adding. So you can add a user or role to a ticket, automations, bot switcher, claim, close, close request, commands, as well as debugs. So first off, we can click on automation. And once we click on automation, we can choose our automation. So you can go on ahead. Let's say we want to start an automation like that you will see your command will be sent you haven't configured this over here so you can click on slash and you can click on slash set up like this and over here you are going to see a panel so your panel is going to function as the place where people that might get banned or people you know that cannot seem to have access to your uh, discord server can resolve their issues click on create panel over here and set a name this is going to be my a lily support ticket so i'll just add that lily support ticket and then i'll click on submit once i click on submit i can click on save and continue now you will set up the roles for your support team so the ticket tool is going to be our first role then we can select a category so this is only for text channels not for voice based channels and then after that i can select the channel name so i am in the general channel this is the only channel in this discord server so I can click on select and save. And we have done that. You will see your first panel has now been created. This is the basic configuration editor for setup and small changes. So you can click on the dashboard over here to further customize and then click on visit site over here. A new panel will open up from where you're going to log into Discord so you can easily manage the ticketing tool. Click on authorize over here. And once you click on authorize, you will basically have a two-way connection. Now, once your two-way connection is built, you will have your panel configuration. This includes your general ticketing option, who is a member of your support team. Then you have different categories you can build. You also have ticketing options with the types of tickets that people can create, as well as moderators you can create, permissions, buttons, and messages. Below that, you have your options for messages used to create tickets, command styles, drop down styles, and forms. And then you have advanced settings, including transcripts, logging, and limits. Now, over here, you're going to also get your server information, your command settings as well. So let's go on ahead and we are going to, uh, you will see different audio devices. We're not going to switch this. We're just going to proceed over here. Now we can click on create panel over here. And once we do that, our panel name is set up. We can add our secondary ticket tool, click on save and continue. And you will see the uh, second step is to select your, the roles of your ticketing team. I only have one person in this space, so I won't be able to make many customizations over here. However, once we have done that, if we type in a slash, you can start setting up automations as well as threads. We're going to go into the ticket tool and in your ticket tool, you can go on ahead and click on automation and then you can add any odd automation that you want. So if you want to start an automation like this and I want to solve a ticket or something, we can add a particular command over here. We can also go on ahead and add a bot switcher to resume the automation of tickets as you receive them. Obviously, we haven't received tickets yet, so we're not going to be able to solve any, but you can easily claim or unclaim the current ticket. 
So I want to add the reason for claiming this ticket or the user claim for. So let's say I want to claim a ticket for something like this. And you guys will see this channel isn't a ticket. But if a new channel is created, which I'll show you guys, this is a text-based channel. And this is going to be my ticketing. And once I do that, I can do slash and I can go on ahead and go into a ticket tool. And then we can click on add user. So I want to add a ticket and this is going to be uh, unreasonable, reasonable ban like this, like so. And now this will be actually added into the general area and then we will be able to access the ticketing like so. Now, another really important thing is that you can configure how automations work so you can configure the automation options such as the allow channels where people are able to use automations if you want to allow people to reopen uh, different channels as well as well as set a closing for any open tickets if you want to send out closing requests delete uh, certain tickets as well as well as rename tickets as per your own will you guys can see where it should be allowed where it should not be allowed who is the allowed person to do that so the allowed person and then the disabled roles as well and so now if i try to uh, if another manager or moderator tries to use you know one of my permissions to delete a ticket or to remove a ticket they wouldn't be able to do so now if i want i can go on ahead i'll add a user which is going to be me we can click on over here and we can create new tickets over here to proceed now with your ticket bot it is also really important to note that you can set up your server configuration so general options member roles if anyone is able to manage tickets or if you only want the bot to handle them and you can also set a global limit for your ticketing so you don't receive too many queries at one time when you have unresolved queries and just like that you can configure ticketing with a simple tool like the ticket tool now there are a lot of features that are limited to the premium version. On the free version, you have unlimited panels you can create. You can generate transcript, add tr uh, support roles. You can handle around 10 tickets a minute with the bot. However, for $5.99, you have unlimited panels. You can generate transcript, support roles, unlimited tickets, but you also have faster premium only bots, automatic transcript, full customizations, custom reactions, direct messaging, and ticket automations. These premium features can help you in closing tickets faster and resolving any of your support issues. So you can figure out which one would work better for you. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.